now we have a test to test the, the work to which uh, Thank you, Paul, for allowing me to present my Your two minutes. <laughs> Do not forget that. <laughs> okay, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Jose Carrello. I'm the director of the Operation Excellence and Continuous Improvement uh, area in OSEA Retail Portugal. OSEA is the French multinational retail group that was founded in 90, 1961. It has a direct presence in nine, nine countries, including Portugal, China, mm -hmm. and Taiwan. With more than 1,000 hypermarkets and supermarkets, we have in Portugal a total of 61 stores and 9,000 employees. Right. Improving the way we do, we do business, business and satisfy our customers, excellence is part of our values and part of our DNA. Looking for this performance, the Operational Ex Excellence Program was launched back in 2010 in the pilot of one of our stores, uh, that is Alfagis, and uh, in the next year we rolled out this program to all of our stores. It allowed us to uh, significantly improve the operational indicators and stabilize our key store processes. In 2018, we gave one step beyond and initiated our win journey. Our aim is to develop a continuous improvement system based on wind guiding principles using ISO 9001 framework. This system is not limited to the stores, also covering logistics <coughs> platforms, administrative, administrative areas, and production branches. <coughs> In this communication, we will share with you three improvement projects targeting the market of fresh products cornerstone of quality perception by the customer. Markets such as fruits, vegetables, cold meat or fish, fishmonger are strategically of <coughs> high importance, importance for an enterprise with business on the food retail sector. To share with you uh, some of our pleasures is Pedro. Following this introduction from uh, a person from our top management, uh, I would like you to, um, to think when we talk about organizations, why do companies <coughs> exist? <coughs> they exist because they need returns. Usually, and the uh, Ocean Retail is not the exception, uh, looking back at the chronology, we see that we have supported our result, results, our continuous improvement uh, roadmap based on tools, like uh, problem-solving uh, methodologies, like process mapping tools. But if you think about it, sustainable results could not be achieved in a sustainable way if we just rely on tools. We need to have our people. And Lean is all about culture, okay? So, what is culture? It is kind of abstract thing, but culture is a collective uh, behaviors that we see in our people, in our companies. And the behaviors uh, has a, a substantial um, impact on the uh, sustainable results of a company. However, the culture and the behaviors can be modeled, can, be, uh, uh, can evolve during time if we have the right systems uh, on, the, on the company. That's why we believe at Ocean Retail Portugal that the next step for moving forward is to implement a continuous improvement system based on ISO 9001 framework and using the Lean, six, Lean uh, and Six Sigma also tools and content and guiding principles. Okay, that's why uh, we have formed this last year, especially during this year, we reinforced this this uh, this uh, um, team in uh, in uh, in the company is the Lean management team. Uh, that uh, have developed a set of projects that we will uh, show you during that, this presentation. All these projects that are summarized in this slide, you are able to see the impact they have in the financial results, on time savings, and also on key performance indicators. And at the end, if we have time, I will show you just a, a, a big picture of uh, the, the system that is being uh, under, undergone. So, one of the things and uh, which we, we, we try to pick 
one of these projects that uh, you see here. So we will start by going to reinfective approaches, then a voluntary management approach, <coughs> and finally uh, the Kermakaisen event. And uh, we uh, attempt <coughs> to go through all these methodologies in certain projects that were strategi strategically aligned with the company. The first case is in the fish processing plant <coughs> that allows us uh, that allow us to uh, provide and supply fish, fresh fish, in less than 12 hours in all our stores throughout the country. And you can see a video of that. Can we have sound here, please? Sound. Okay, uh, perhaps we can see uh, just again the picture. Okay, so we can move forward and then go back go once back we have time. Yeah. I think it's better. Less because I will be counting your time. Okay. <laughs> 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 So, <laughs> the business case for, for this project was that uh, with uh, the opening of new stores and uh, the increase in selling, uh, the, the, the factory, the, the plant was unable to, to reach a, a new level of capacity. Because basically they were not able to finish the production between 9 and 30 uh, p.m. So we had some claims from our partners at the, at the site at the, at the logistics platform and, the, and, the, and factory. We have a local partner that do some logistics for us and he was complaining about uh, this time. So uh, with the increase in the demand, it, they, we are not able to, 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 uh, to reach that, uh, that uh, period of time. So what we have done, uh, we made a diagnosis the problem basically uh, using this VSTM was uh, felt here, the problem was felt here at the end. This was a complaint. However, looking at all this sequence of uh, tasks and operations, we were able to determine the, the flow bottleneck on this, on this flow. Uh, and it was in the packing and labeling uh, machine, uh, so we needed to act in there. Um, using the, um, to determine the, 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 the performance baseline, we looked at every week, every day from the week, and we saw that we didn't have any problem from Tuesday to Thursday, but we had some problems, especially on Friday, because there are two days of, of production corresponding for the, the, the weekend, okay, the two days of the weekend. So in this period, and as you see in the, in the red uh, numbers, we are not able to, to reach the production uh, by 9.30. It was impossible. So, uh, and basically on Monday, the variability was very, very high. Uh, so uh, one indicator, that, which is a driver <coughs> of that bottleneck was the overall efficiency equipment. So basically we determined the baseline and there, there is a value uh, on the screen. So we moved for the anal analysis of causes, and one of the causes was because we, don't, we didn't have a full system uh, on the plant. We had a push system. So uh, they were only able to consolidate the production by 12.30, not before. <coughs> so the, basically they were doing some pre-processes that dramatically increased, increased our work in progress inventory. So this, that complicated very much all the handling, all the transportation for a small space. So uh, in, the, in the improvement phase, what we have done was um, talking with our stores and uh, we agreed that uh, uh, they could provide easily without any, any problems the, the, the needs and the forecast and also the, the specific orders in terms of fresh fish. So they were able to start <coughs> today and the day previously uh, understand what should they should pr produce. This um, encouraged the, a full system to be implemented on the, on the site. Um, another, another action in terms of the packing machine was that we needed to involve our technical colleagues from the maintenance. 
And uh, if this was, was not would be not enough, then we would go to the next step, would, would, uh, that would be performing a design of experiments approach to optimize process variables. However, it was not needed because basically our uh, OEE was uh, above 75%, which is our goal. So it really reached 81. And uh, we could see the results during time. So this was the, the, the period of time where the maintenance made the, the, the intervention. And after that, we started using a, a full system. And uh, so we were able to increase 150 kilograms per day. Uh, which basically not only uh, had a, a bottom line effect on the on the results, but also on the number of days that were saved for, for that team. So, 20 working days. Okay, so very very high, uh, almost 10%. Um, there were other improvements, like for example, this uh, fish sticks uh, works work work station, <coughs> much more ergonomic, uh, much more quicker. Uh, the cement here took about five minutes, not, not less, just to put the ingredients inside the, 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 the boxes. Uh, previously it was about 30 minutes. And we also made some process, basic process stability in terms of I5S visual management on the, on the room, on the logistics room. And here it's the lean team with the logistics and the, the production area, uh, a teamwork that we have developed. And there was a, a control plant that derived from this effort. So every day we monitorize all the results. And as you can see, by 9 o'clock, usually we are able to finish, not after 9.30. Of course, there are some alarms. That alarms are spotted on the red letters. But it is an advice and an alert for us in order to, uh, to check what's going on. The next step could be the reindustrialization of the factory. And for that purpose, we um, planted, put the seed on this, on this process. What you see in there, it is in Portuguese, but uh, all that uh, uh, column contains specific product products that are sold in our stores in Portugal. And on the columns, uh, there are, you can see all these, let me just keep here. You can see all these steps of the production system, of the production uh, process, all the operations. And we were able to cluster all these references according to the natural flow. Uh, doing this, we're able to put some management decisions on here. Basically, which type of product do we want to sell in our stores? Which type of product? Do we want to, to have low-cost products, so we need to put automa automation on the, on the on the factory, or do we want to, or do we want to uh, implement uh, a, a mix of uh, a, a large variety of, pro of products, uh, but uh, with uh, uh, many changes in the in the in the workstation? What we want: high mix, low volume, or just high volume? So we have the margin. We have all the data for decision making in terms of management <coughs> for the next step of this project. The second project. Here is just technological, okay? So this was a very interesting project because it involved uh, a mix between the online commerce and the fruits and vegetables. And we used the value stream management approach. So first, uh, we needed to have a business context for this. The context, we wanted to decrease the not, de not delivered online items. It could be on our online store, but also on the physical store. And for the online store, implemented a kind of Kanban with order points. So the stockouts decrease from 10 to 2. And uh, uh, the drilling down the, key, the tree of KPIs were able to that we needed to act on the fruits and vegetables. So we draw the, VS, the value stream mapping. We have uh, identified all the constraints and bottlenecks. And basically, we could were able to determine that in terms of value added and not value added, only about 30, from 30 to 45 percent of the of the people doing the refilling process uh, actually was um, was done was was passed in terms of uh, refilling. The, all the other uh, was motion transportation, handling, uh, and other types of things, changing prices and so on. Not the refilling. Um, so, we are able to come up 
working with the e-commerce director and also the director and the team of the, of the store to draw a future state map. And the concept is, instead, so the, the people from the, the market, fruits and vegetables, they just remain on the, on the store doing the refilling. There is a person from the, the reception that takes all the pallets into the corridor of the, of the store. There is a person that uh, arrives first in order to level the, the process that uh, enters one, uh, one hour earlier. And uh, what makes it the separation of the, of the product according to a certain category. So the other two, when arrived, they just need to put the corresponding on the shelf. So uh, it, it saves about 45 minutes per day. They have three hours to make all the refilling process. So this is what a huge saving in terms of efficiency. On the other hand, the picker, uh, uh, they change information between the online commerce and also the, 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 the store. So the picker just arrive on the store at half past seven. They used to, to, to went there by 6.30. When they arrived there, they didn't have any product on the shelf. So it was a lot of, pr of productivity from both sides. So basically, uh, the, what you can see there is a summary, is a summary of, the, of the process, that, uh, of the, the, the measures that we have implemented. Finally, and I wanted very much to show you this example, this, this was a Kemba Kaizen event. We just facilitate it because the, the, the previous two projects were done by specialists. It was done by the people of the store. And you can see that uh, choosing, we wanted to, to reduce the quality loss. We picked the cold meat and cheese because it was uh, uh, very impactful on the total of the quality loss, but also in terms of comparing with the goals and the homologous of the last year. So we diagnosed. We saw that in this uh, uh, cold meat there was about 85% of the quality loss. The team came up with the relevant causes and uh, an action plan, the five Y and so on. Okay, so they were trained by by the company on this uh, very simple tool, and they came up with solution. So just to, to see you the to show you and share with you the methodology. We developed visual standards, and uh, the action plan was monitored uh, as, as well as the results. And we are able to reach this result, as you can see. We not only uh, uh, improve in terms of quality loss, but also in terms of stockout. There is some variability, but that is behavior. So, yeah. so we try to work with them. <laughs> and finally, to end, uh, I would like to, to show you some photos. We are working on a pilot store that we are developing, working close side by side with our teams, with, uh, with my team, with uh, all the company and the, and the store. And we are doing interesting things in terms of mapping processes, of the, 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 uh, developing an obey room, a mission control room, and uh, also making value analysis and non-value analysis. And finally, ISO 9001, we need to have a simple and effective uh, documentation system. And this real journey on Ocean Rita Portal. And I'd like to, to ask you, Joana, Gertrude, Sara, José e Francisco, to come here. And uh, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to be here. <laughs>